The most important thing for me about keeping the 60s alive is that I saw my generation change the world. You have to pull the bus to us! We have to pull the bus! I'm part of that generation, and I saw us stop the war in Vietnam. I saw us massively change society. We took life out of the nuclear family bubble that it was in and brought it out into the streets and into community with each other and touched nature. And it broke my heart when that ended and the world backlashed against it. The last thing I have to tell you is that in 1967, everybody sang along. And if they didn't know the words or they were shy, they sang even louder. Flagstaff, Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingsman, Warscow, San Bernardino, won't you? Well, we start at, uh, at Union Square, and then we go all the way down Market Street. But before, we go, we go through Chinatown and we stop right at the end of Chinatown at City Lights Bookstore. We were... I like it a lot. I have fun every time I come here. And I mean, I'm studying audio and I just want to be able to make the show even better than it already is. It was in the 1960s during the Vietnam War that people were, um, they were just not in the mood to go and fight for something they didn't believe in and they thought, isn't there a place somewhere on this world where we can feel safe? My parents didn't name me Artemis, I named myself Artemis after the goddess of the moon. So I invite you to do the same thing. Find some part of yourself that needs to be expressed, that you want to be part of your future. This for me is a mission. Like I not only created this role and was on the very first ride, but it's the whole idea of a mission to not parody the 60s, not be ironic or arch about the 60s, not be arm's length and winking at the 60s, but to really try to immerse people in what it is that we discovered then and to touch them with it, even in just a little way. And it's very moving for me that it works. So that's, that's my quest and why I'm going to keep doing this as long as we possibly can.